such unelusive glories fall, I almost dream they yet will bide until the coming of the tide. And yet I know that not for us, by any ecstasy of dream, he lingers to keep luminous a little while the grievous stream which frets uncomforted of dream. A grievous stream that to and fro, a through the fields of Acadie, goes wandering as if to know why one beloved face should be so long from home in Acadie. Was it a year or lives ago we took the grasses in our hands and caught the summer flying low over the waving meadowlands and held it there between our hands? And while the river at our feet, a drowsy inland meadow stream, at set of sun the afterheat made running gold, and in the gleam we freed our birch upon the stream. There, down along the elms at dusk, we lifted dripping blade to drift through twilight scented fine like musk, where night and gloom a while uplift, nor sunder soul and soul adrift. And that we took into our hands, spirit of life or subtler thing, breathed on us there and loosed the bands of death and taught us, whispering, the secret of some wonder thing. Then all your face grew light and seemed to hold the shadow of the sun. The evening faltered, and I deemed that time was ripe, and years had done their wheeling underneath the sun. So all desire, and all regret, and fear, and memory were not, one to remember or forget, the keen delight our hands had caught. Morrow and yesterday were not. The night has fallen, and the tide, now and again, comes drifting home. Across these aching barrens wide, a sigh like driven wind or foam, in grief the flood is bursting home.